Alright guys, bringing you Max on Friends, episode 6. Uh, this week we have a good friend of mine, Mr. Cockney Rebel 9. Now before I introduce him, I'd just like to quickly ask Gary, I hate, I hate when people ask for likes and begin the videos. Um, I'm actually going to do a rap video on it next week, I think. But this series, for some reason, tends to fail on views, tends to bomb on views, and this is going to be the last episode because of that. So, you know, I would like the last episode to do decently. So please do like the video. I hate asking. But, um, please like the video. And actually, we'll start with that, Mr. Cockney. What do you think of people asking for likes? Especially at the beginning of videos. Like, uh, does that not piss you off? Um, not really. It don't really bother me. Mm. Um, I'd much rather wait until sort of the end of the video. <coughs> yeah. someone say, oh, can you like it? Not so much at the front, but, no, each to, each to their own. Oh, don't really? get me wrong, like, um, loads of my friends on YouTube do it, but it just, it just annoys me when people say at the, be the beginning of the video, when, like, really, you need to watch it till the end to, to see if you, it deserves a like, and they say, like, um, oh, if we could get to 500 likes this video, that would be, that would be amazing, do you know what I mean? It's just like, ah, just annoys me, but anyway, I'm, I'm rambling on here, so, uh, guys, please like the video, I'm being a hypocrite, but go ahead, and, um, so what was the first topic? Yes, right, so, Cockney, how did you get into YouTube, then? Um, well, just started off as a viewer, really. Just sort of um, using it to catch up on uh, certain TV shows yeah. and that. And um, what made you want to make? What made you want to make videos though? Um, don't know really. Just something to do when I got home from work. Mm. Um, cause, just because before I was sort of working evenings. So when I came home, everyone was asleep. Yeah. And there's only so you know so much TV so much you can watch, you can watch. In, in, at night. Yeah. You know. So I thought, well, why not just do do some videos? And I started off about sort of two three years ago just mainly sort of doing football vlogs and that yeah but it weren't until i sort of bought myself an xbox and i was sort of trailing youtube looking for like tips on modern warfare 2 yeah and i thought oh you know i could i, I could do this a lot of know? people a lot of people seem to say that um they, they get into youtube when they were sort of they found the community the gaming community when they were looking for tips on modern warfare 2 Mm. Yeah, so how, how did you how did you get your name? It's kind, of, it's kind of obvious, but Cockney is your Cockney. In case anyone didn't realise he's got a Cockney voice, if you didn't hear that, then, you know. You, you, yeah, have, yeah. Got, you have got a bit of a love it or hate it voice, don't you, though? Like, kind of like me. I would imagine some people would be like, what is your voice? Do you not get that a lot in videos? I get it all the time. No, not really. Really? No. Yeah. Well, I suppose the Brits would understand you, but Americans, though, I think they would maybe be a bit like, what the fuck's your voice? Kind of like me. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, I went the topic. So, um, yeah, your name, what, what made you think of that? Well, obviously, I'm from the east end of London, so yeah. obviously, that's that's what I use, it's Cockney Rebel. I've always used it mm. um, for various games and all that, so... You've also, you've also got, like, Eastman or something like that. Yeah, I couldn't get Cockney Rebel on the Xbox mm -hmm. Live, and um, I couldn't get Cockney Rebel 9 either, so I thought, oh, I'll just do East End Man. East End so Man. I've just stuck with that for the last sort of, two, three years. Yeah, that's fair enough. Right, so, main topic, right, this is, uh, it's kind of following on from my real football talk series. We're both, we're both Liverpool fans, um, mm -hmm. and, and I apologise for all you football fans that aren't Liverpool fans. The two complain I talk about Liverpool a bit too much, which I will try and stop. But to be fair, there's been loads of Liverpool news the past few months. To be oh, yes, You know, is. there has been, like, mm -hmm. I, ha I have to talk about the racism shit and all that crap. But, anyway, so, the, the main topic of my last video was, should King Kenny get sacked? What's your views on that? Um, no, I don't see why he should get the sack, really. Um, mm. The the only problem with Liverpool at the moment is the inability to score goals. Exactly. And can you really blame the manager for that? Um, you know, that's, that's that's more of a playing side. So really, you've got to be looking at the playing stuff. Mm. To be fair, I can. Because first of all, let's take for example Steven Gerrard. I've been saying all season... Right, we need goals, we need assists. Steven Gerrard does both of them and we're playing him in the holding role where everyone's saying he's finished, he's that, he's that bad in. The first game we play him in attacking role like I've been crying out for, he scores a bloody hat-trick. That <laughs> is first, That you know, that, that's the first thing I've, just, I've been so annoyed about with Kenny all season. Like, why yeah. have you not been playing such a world-class player in his, in his best position? Because, you know, Steven Gerrard should fit into any position before anyone. Well, I think the reason why he's played Gerrard the way he has, all, like, from when he has been fit, yeah. is because Lucas is injured. Yeah, but he's got Spearing there, and we only used to play with one CDM before with Lucas. Yeah, but obviously he's probably seen something in training or something that, mm. you know, Spearing isn't quite ready for a full season. Yeah. Um, no, I, I'd love to see a lot more Jay Spearing, because when I first saw him sort of a year, year and a half ago, yeah. 
Um, I, I quite I quite liked him. I, I liked his, um, yeah, I like his him determination, too. his style, you know. But um, I, I think I think that's probably why, because he probably thinks Spearing is just still a little bit too young. Um, he, you know, he's he's trying to bed him in sort of slowly. The thing is, though, even when Spearing is playing, a lot of the time he's played two holding midfielders, which I really don't like. And this whole sort of five four one formation. You know, one of the reasons we can't score goals is because there's so many balls going across the box that there's only one player in the box. There's no one in the box. Yeah. Or there's only one person in the box. And the, everything's reliant on the strikers to score, which you might think is a bit, a bit common, a bit stupid. But, you know, the midfielders, like they used to, like another team, should be bursting into the box, like Lampard does yeah. for Chelsea and getting on the end of things. Oh, yeah, yeah. So there's no goals in our midfield. So when our strikers aren't scoring, none of the rest of the players are sort of picking in with the odd goal. I mean, this, yeah. <laughs> the defenders are probably getting more goals in the midfield this season. But um, are you? Was you a fan of Rafa Benitez? I love Rafa. Oh, but I, don't you think that Kenny's just using the same t- mm, tactics as Rafa? You know, yeah. two holding defensive yeah, you midfielders. Mean the, and... the the four the four two no four three two one or the four two three one formation? You mean yeah? Mm, yeah. I I see what you're saying there, but it's just when when Rafa played it, it just seemed like there was a lot more attacking emphasis on it, and the midfielders, you know, were bursting into the but box a lot he... more and. Yeah, but I think Rafa had a lot more attacking players, and, and he also had sort of Alonso there. Exactly. Uh, he had Torres. He had um, who else did he have now? Um, you know, even yeah. he even had Babel when that's, he played that, it. That's you true, know? but Kenny's the one who's got that pace, that yeah. real attacking sense players at the moment. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But Kenny's the one who's went and spent hundred million on bloody Downey, and Henderson, and Adam, yeah. and you know these players and the Carroll. So you know it, well, it's, Henderson, it's his fault we don't have that in the team. Do you not think? Mm. I well, Henderson's not a winger. He's for, for me. He's, he's a central midfielder for me. Uh, absolutely, I agree there uh, because it's not fair on him. I I still haven't judged Henderson completely yet because um he has been playing poor for us, but we've been playing him in a position, and he's young, so he's got potential. Yeah. But even still, twenty million, you could have got much better, in my opinion. Well, you know, if if you was going to go for a Sunderland player, I would have really gone for Catamol. Really, Sessegnon, no. Um, but why not? You know, you don't think Sessegnon would have been good? Mm, could possibly. Mm, I'd prefer him over Cadwell possibly. to be honest. But, but, um, okay. but I think you know he, he's only been he's he, he's been there a year and a half. Yeah. You know you can't you know it, it's a building process because mm. we we were sort of two three years behind when he came yeah. in. Yeah. And it is a building process and let's just see what happens this summer and see what happens next season. I think there will be some players leaving this summer. Mm. Do you think any yeah. of the new signings will leave? Um. I don't think any of the new ones. I think some of the players that were there before. I hope, I hope um, Kate doesn't go. I love Kate. Um, I, I hope he goes, actually. Really? Why? Um, no, well, I, I can't fault his work, work rate. You know, he yeah. does try hard, but he's got one of the worst first touches I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and if you ever watch him score a goal, it's never scored cleanly. Mm. Or when he takes a shot, it's never hit cleanly. It's mm. it's scuffed off his shin or off his yeah. knee or something yeah. like that. You know, it's, whenever he takes a shot, he's always off balance and it's awkward and his he legs. Does, and... He does have a habit of scoring like ten, twelve goals a season, though. With... He does, but I, I'd rather you know, I, I'd rather sell him, get the money, and buy a winger. Would you not even like him as a squad player when we need a whole on day win or whatever? Bring him on. You know, he can be the workhorse. Um, no, if we can get a winger in, use the money to get a winger, I'd, I'd rather do I that. Would, I would dream of having Hazard and Cavani in the summer, but it's never going to happen. But uh, well, well, I'd like to see Kenny play more Rodriguez. Actually, oh, I don't know. I don't know what Rodriguez done. He must have pissed Kenny off. <laughs> he hasn't got the bench in like five months. I know. I, I don't know because any time he sort of come on, he, he always looks like he, yeah. he he'll do something, yeah. and he has scored goals when he's he come links on. up well with Suarez, which is. Why I think he should be playing more games. Yeah. And before we move on to that last topic, did you hear that rumour that um, Bellamy apparently stormed out of Anfield after not making the bench for the Everton game? Any? Did you hear that? Um, I've not really. I've, I've, I think I've seen a tweet or two about it. I've not. Yeah. I wouldn't really be, think more. Hmm. Wouldn't be surprised. You know, he's a bit of a hothead, but he has matured a bit lately. Yeah, but anyway, let's, let's ramble on a bit more now. Let's move on to the last topic of the day. That is, what games are you going to be getting this year and putting on your channel, man? So I might say that What again. games are you going to be getting this year and putting on your channel? Oh, um, yeah, I've been looking. Um, I think I'll be getting uh, some, like, uh, the WWE. Oh, well, really? I didn't know you played that, okay. 
because I do I do like my wrestling, so I think I, I might sort of buy that and maybe do a road to the WWE Championship or something. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm currently working on a Battlefield 3 series. It's sort of... Um, I almost got it done last week, but yeah. I sort of messed it up a bit, so I'm having to sort of start from, start from scratch, so yeah. that's going to be like another couple of weeks in the process. But um, yeah. I don't know, there's, there's not a lot of games out. I was, I was muting buying Mass Effect 3, but I just don't know. Yeah, did you play the previous ones? No, I haven't played the previous ones. That's what, what sort of put me off. It's, it's not like Gears of War 3, yeah. where it's just, you know, like, it's carrying on the trilogy, yeah. but it's a brand new game. Mass Effect 3, you need to have... One and two, yeah. Uh, you know, to really sort of progress in three. Yeah. You know, that's that's what I've been told anyway. So yeah. right. that's what sort of really put me off. I have been so bummed about this 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 video, guys. I'm gonna admit it. I was supposed to meet him between one and two p.m. and I didn't wake up to three, which is not long ago. So I've been pretty unprepared. I've been tired. You can probably hear my voice. So I apologise for that, Mister uh, Mister Eastman. I just called you Eastman. I've never called you Eastman before. But the one thing we would say, guys, um, go sub this guy's channel. He, like he does some really interesting vlogs in particular. I love his vlogs on some really controversial topics like the fuck the Moors, the um, Scottish independence. Things like that. They're really entertaining. But uh, any last words, Mr. Cockney or Blaine? Yeah, no, just uh, thanks for having me on, you lazy git. <laughs> <laughs> you must be thinking more, is he? My God. <laughs> right, okay. Um, guys, as, as I said, like the video, because this does tend to struggle. Go sub to Mr. Cockney's channel. And uh, this has been Maxwell. Mr. Cockney Rebel 9 on the last episode of Maxwell and Friends. See you all later.